Okay, we've been given a question where it's asking us to work out the concentration of a resulting solution when 145 grams of pure table salt is dissolved in water to make a 2.75 litre solution. So to start with, let's just make sure that we know that pure table salt is sodium chloride. So we're going to need um, that chemical formula to start with and we're trying to work out a concentration that's what it's asking us when it says molarity so this means concentration and that's in moles per litre Now, what we're going to do is, to start with, we're going to have to figure out what the, what the number of moles of pure table salt is in 145 grams. So, to work that out, we have to first work out what the molar mass of sodium chloride is. So, the molar mass, which is denoted capital M, of sodium chloride, is just going to equal the molar mass of sodium, which is 22.99. Add the molar mass of chloride, which is 35.45. And that should equal, let me see, 58.44. grams. Great. So now that we have the molar mass of sodium chloride, we can work out the number of moles in 145 grams by going the number of moles, which is denoted as little, little m, little n, sorry, of sodium chloride is equal to the mass that we're given of it, which is little m, over the molar mass, which is big M. So that's 145 divided by 58.44. And that's going to equal about 2.48 moles. So what we're saying is in 145 grams is going to be 2.48 moles of sodium chloride. Now to work out the molarity or concentration of sodium chloride, well let's C stand for concentration, that's equal to the number of moles of sodium chloride divided by the volume which we're dissolving it in. Now volume has to be in litres. So that's going to equal 2.48 moles divided by the volume which is 2.75 It's going to be about 0 0.9, isn't it? Yep. Okay, we've got 0 0.902 moles per litre to the negative 1. So, that is our concentration or molarity of the solution here. A lot of teachers or examiners like to have the final solution in scientific notation. So in this case, it's going to be 9.02 times 10 to the negative 1 moles per litre. It's a fairly s simple problem, but it comes up a lot in a lot of chemistry exams.